I, that was my next question. <laughs> mine looks nothing like yours. That's good. It shouldn't. It shouldn't look it, like mine. <clears throat> what I'm doing, this process. Because it's pro your imagination. Exactly. It's your imagination. So this process exactly. is, is about is about the process of drawing from imagination. That's it. So, you know, and if you go faster, it's fine. Like I was envisioning I would have a really long snout, but you know what? It's not going to fit on the page. So um, I did the ears and now I came down the trap, the trapezoidal forehead. I placed the eyes. Maybe I'll add some eyelashes because that's fun. Then I'll, Looks like I'll evil. angle in. I think it's because there's so much dark around the eyes. I think it does look a little evil. But let me see if I can put some. Oh my god, that looks even more evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my evil unicorn. It's Let's see. Yeah, I gotta, I'll keep working. I gotta keep working. All right, so we did um, <laughs> eyes, and then I'm gonna do nostrils, and I'm gonna use a spiral for the nostril. Uh, the nostrils are on top of the head. I mean, on, you know, not on the top of the head. They're like above the mouth. So then there's the space between. Right now, you have a creepy unicorn and you're crushing every three-year-old girl's dreams of meeting a unicorn. Well, Ew, hate, this unicorn hate, is so crush, sweet. I hate to crush your dreams, but unicorns don't exist. <gasps> that is a lie. <laughs> they are imagined. Okay, um, Look at <clears throat> I love those sweet eyelashes. It's such a great smile. And look at the little curly cues for nostrils. This is adorable. Casey, it I is do, creepy. It is I creepy. I do appreciate <laughs> I, I'm not saying it's not creepy. I am I'm not saying it's not. Um, all right, but that's what happens sometimes. You get, you know, you don't have anything to go on. I got so mine just looks weird. <laughs> I love yours. Yours doesn't look creepy. I knew nice. that pink yours hair, would right. be pink. <laughs> or do you want me to tell you what I like even more than pink? No. I am. <laughs> Cupcakes. In colors. <laughs> I don't oh. know. All right. I've got the main, and then I think that's it. What else do I need? This is like my favorite color of all the pens I have. Is it turquoise? <laughs> I, is it like blue? I is it blue cyan? Blue. I. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this, um, I call it cyan, though I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the this next is my thing? My favorite La one. <laughs> Lasia, Lasia, what do you want to draw next? Any requests? Lassia, do you have any requests? A mermaid. Ooh, oh. mermaid. Here we go. Got to start somewhere. Where are we going to start? I'm going to start with the tail. You just said we have to start somewhere, and then you said, where are we going to start? Yeah. Well, we have to start yeah, somewhere. Where Where will that be? I'm going to go get a paper. I'm going to start with the tail. I usually start with heads. I usually do too, but it's a, it's a, it's a. Can know, I start with the head? It's a mermaid. You can start wherever you want. Um, I'm gonna do a spiral tail. So, it's interesting because you can kind of start when you start mermaids. I think you can start kind of drawing legs, and then somewhere, yes. somewhere about the knees, it turns into a tail. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes. I made it fancy. Oh, oh, it's it's fun. Fun. oh that is very fancy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm feeling You're confident welcome. about that. <clears throat> what did we do for, I was sketching. Yeah. And then it goes up to the torso and then you can do the neck and the head and the hair. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this looks just, I don't like it. <laughs> um, and you know, you win some, you lose some. So you never know when it's going to be good. All right, so um, <clears throat> later in the class, I'll draw a couple other things from observation. We can draw some food today. 
going to draw um, a beta fish with like color. Um, I'll just break down how to draw a beta fish. And there's I so have a beta fish. I used to. I have a fish. It's good. I mean, I would bring. It I up. have a beta fish. And my friend has a beta fish. I have a. I we have used to have a beta fish. I used to have a beta fish. I actually have a beta fish. Um, it, where does it live? And how big is the cage? Or the, the, the tank? The tank? It's actually not that big. It's not the biggest. Have you ever caught mm. before? Um, I've tried to, but it really didn't work out. Cool. Well, today... Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> today is going to help. Because I think I've cracked the code on how to draw beta fish. I taught it in two other classes. Well, well, beta fish, they have like their fins are not like straight on fins. It's like it like it's got a fin and then it's like got flowy stuff. That's exactly. So the way that you have to figure it out, they've got a tail and then they have like basically three fins. Three types of fins. So once you get the tail down, then you can get two, two fins on the bottom, one fin on the top. And it's very manageable. Um, okay, this mermaid is going to be reading a book. Oh, I love that. It's so cute. Can, can mermaid I don't want to see the cuteness. The idea is cuteness. Aww. Can mermaids read? Of Yours can. Read. I mean, I don't know if they can. Did you ever see the Little Mermaid? Yeah. She always. I've asks, never she seen asks, that. She asks the seagull about like all the way the humans live. I'm like, well, why don't you read a book? <laughs> oh, maybe she hadn't. Maybe she hadn't. My fish yet. is hiding from you. Look at this book. Isn't it great? Oh, Trevor, I have a thought. Yeah. Those are frog eyes. She's looking down and she might have, she might be part frog. Could her hair be made out of seaweed, like flowing um, seaweed? Uh, I'll use seaweed as an example. I'm not gonna make her hair seaweed, but I will think about flowing seaweed as I draw it. Maybe Let she's it. like, maybe she had seaweed in the in her hair. No, you're doing it. This as is like I see seaweed. Yeah, I'm thinking about seaweed, but I'm yeah, not gonna make, I'm not gonna it. make it seaweed. Maybe well, I'll give her a shell. You, you guys can't see my fish because my you guys can't see my beta fish because my beta fish comes in with the. Come on. Don't wake it up. That's she's not. She's 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 awake. She's awake, all right. She's staring at me. She's like, guys, I'm camera shy. <laughs> I I can see that. She's like, I just want to be left alone and okay. Meditate in my corner. I'll leave you alone. Bye bye. Oh, she doesn't think that. She looks, she's like, I want to be drawn. She's like, I, I watch over the you drawing, so get that away from me. Trevor, what is the name of the book she's reading? I was thinking about that. Maybe she's reading uh, on the cover. Maybe you show a picture of Earth and she's reading about Earth. Is she trying to figure out whether it's flat or round? Oh my God, mine looks so different. Maybe it's the, hmm. Oh, maybe she's reading about uh, drawing, or reading about, yeah, painting. So she'll be reading the Ruskin. R-U-S-K-I-N. Rusk. Hold that a little bit closer to you. And so far. freeze, freeze, freeze it. There you go. Now so far. Now nice. I have to miss the hair and everything else. She's reading. <clears throat> she's reading a series of essays by John Ruskin. I mean, <laughs> she's very cultured. I'm zooming to get another art pad. Excuse me. 
Maybe she um she likes to Maybe draw, give her some bracelets. But, but she, 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 she doesn't. Bracelets. So bracelets start from the other side, wrap around to the front, and then go through the other side. Wrap around from one side, back to the other. Ooh, I like that. Oh my god. Now like this looks so much different. You can put coral and gemstones. I added Whoa, hair. Oh nice, Zoya. That hair is really nice. All right, I might I might, I might, I might make Zoya's uh mermaid has like its long flowy hair. And then yours looks like it was just in a fight with a with like a tiger shark. Oh, a tiger or a dragon. Shark. A water <laughs> dragon. <laughs> It's so messy. She's got really messy hair. Okay, Zoya's mermaid is like the princess, and your mermaid is like, I don't know. It's Not like the princess? An ominous. <laughs> For some reason. I don't know why, but I'm just making the hair pink again. <laughs> that does not surprise me. Not even a little bit. Do they have ears? I don't draw ears. I think their ears are mostly covered by their flowy like hair. Ooh. Yeah, like mine. It doesn't even have ears. I don't ears, even draw ears. We can do ear rings. Like you know, like oh, in yes, the yes. mermaid. In the Little Mermaid, I don't think you ever see her ears. I oh, Trevor, I love the bangles. Love Ooh. the bangles. Thank you. Yes, she's got pearls. My yeah. favorite part is the bracelets. Pearls aren't even pearls aren't even expensive when you're a mermaid. They're like, oh, pearls. Wait, yeah. you don't even have to pay. She could have she could have made her own jewelry. Yeah, exactly. She's she's like a jewelry artist. I think that the pearls are gifts that she receives by a very special fish in the sea. Poseidon. You know, Isn't her I don't think so. Poseidon? <laughs> oh, I'm making scales, which are going to take forever. <clears throat> I'm going to put a seahorse next to her. Like I said. Oh, yeah. remember when we did that very, very detailed seahorse? <laughs> yes, I do. <clears throat> this one's a lot easier. <clears throat> Aw, that's adorable. I know. Okay, so maybe, you know how like in the... A little mermaid, like uh, Ariel, has like her own like pet <laughs> flounder. Could you imagine if they instead of instead of flounder or or like Sebastian, one of those two <laughs> seahorse? I bet you that was proposed. I bet you they had to decide. They're like, we're gonna go with flounder, her friend, or or flounder, the seahorse. I would have gone with the seahorse. I think. Isn't okay, it, so maybe like all like mermaids, they have to have food? like a friend. Maybe like it's a rule that all mermaids have to have a friend who like reports to the mermaid king about what they are doing. And the this mermaid's friend is a seahorse. Oh, uh, that is story. a very a creative idea. All right, got it, ladies, this is going to be a two-minute warning. Should we do one more drawing oh. from imagination? Yes. Three, three we should do all drawings from time. imagination. Um, okay. Yeah, we can have, it can be an imagination day. I've been trying. I've got this book that I'm trying to illustrate, and all there are are, like, very simple sentences. And it's amazing how, like, how much you can get from your imagination. It's lovely. Trevor, yeah. could you please remove your cursor? I mean, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> and the other cool thing is when you don't have a reference like this, I can draw really large because of the because of the zoom. I don't have to like take up half the picture with the reference. Okay. Yeah. All right, Good can point. we see what you got? I'm gonna stop the share. I wanna see where you guys are. <clears throat> Stop share. Boom. Who wants to go first? Zoya, you're you're up. Hold on, let me go back. This goes here. I just have to pin you really quickly so it works. 
him. Oh. Sorry. Ma, I actually have to go get one thing before you do it. The mermaid princess. The tail is so good. Oh, I and like the, I like the size the of the tail is, the is lovely. The size of the tail is lovely. I always like giant mermaid tails. I know. I've never I've never seen that, but I like it. Um, all right, Kate, you're up. Oh no, Kate had to go away. Alasia, can we see yours? Oh yes. Oh, oh your unicorn you is it? really nice too. I hadn't seen your unicorn. A little unicorn. closer to the screen. And freeze it. Yeah. Okay. Great. Work. There. And your fish are wonderful too. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Kate, you're up. Yeah. Great job, Lassia. Replace Well, pig. I have a lot, okay. but they're basically like the same thing. You can explain okay. it. Okay. She can explain it. We have this one. Mm -hmm. Hold so, that nice and still. Is that a sea urchin? Wow. That's hard. Wow. Love that one. Oh, wait, wait. You went, you took it away. The second one. So it's a mouth and it's got yeah. what in the inside? What is that thing? It's a lime. I knew oh, it. A lime. Got it. And then I'm working on one right now. People love limes. Cool. Wow. Yeah, it looks great. You, if you wanted to make Kate, the mouth, do you like limes? The mouth, like the corners of the mouth, might get like a little bit thinner. Not a lot okay. thinner, but a little thinner. It'll make Got it more it. like a mouth. Um, did you do the? Did you do the mermaid? Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Um, those were the pieces. What's the next one going to be? Imagine team imagination. Let me put the screenshot. Oh wait, are we going to see? Are we? Well, can we see Mrs. Twist? Oh yeah, duh. Let's just see. Let's. Oh my goodness, that's oh, no. beautiful. Can you hold that a little bit away from the screen? Yep, keep to going. I have, to find your, I have to find your thing, Grandma. Okay, here it is. Yeah, Let's a little see. closer to you. A little further from higher. the screen. A little higher. There you go. There it is. Excellent. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It looks, like, it looks a lot like mine. Slightly less creepy. Oh, oh. mine is definitely a less higher. creepy. A little lower. A little lower. Whoa, that one's great. She's a she looks very tropical to me. I was going to say that. She looks like uh like the uh like she's dancing and yeah, she has a lot of movement. <laughs> I at the same mine. time. I finished mine. All right, Zoya, let's see it. We're ready. Great work. Almost. I just need to go. I up. have a question. Yeah, those colors are great. Hold that a little closer to you, <coughs> Zoya. Color. Nice. Uh, pick one color uh, blue. out of any of these. Red? Cerulean blue. Okay, blue. Okay, red. Red. Okay, now, okay, so you saw the mouth that I was working on? Yeah. Now it's going to have a red fruit in it. Thank you. <coughs> You're welcome. It could be a strawberry this time. Ex Trevor? Apple yeah. Yeah. Yes, Stacy. May I, may I please see your unicorn for just a second? No, it's gonna, you're going you're gonna to photograph it and put it in the public domain. I am. All right, I've, I'll stand by my unicorn. Thank you. We have. I have a mermaid. She... All right. Any suggestions? Wait, can I? Can Last you put time? mine in the public domain? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think I think it. I don't know. I don't know how the Zoom thing works actually. Like, if I were to put this video well, the way on YouTube, like, would like it would be public domain, I suppose. No one else can use it. I don't think anyone else can like. No, someone know. can't like take her drawing and make a children's book out of it. No. She would. She would be entitled to the intellectual property. Um, okay. Anybody got any suggestions? Stacy, Lasia. Oh, I always. Ooh, I have one. I have one. Kate, Kate seems to have them all the time. I'm ready. Okay. So, 
Uh, a hippopotamus uh -huh. eating a watermelon in the swamp. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, I, I interrupted wait, wait, wait. you. I, I was, interrupted you. I'm sorry, Kate. <laughs> I was thinking that. But they I call it the unicorn of the sea, a narwhal. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I love narwhals. A narwhal to go with the mermaid. Okay. They're funky. Uh, we need to officially okay. draw narwhals in this class. Remember when we did, did, we did the, um, the walruses, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I saw this one scene where narwhals were like, they were all swimming up to get air from like the same chunk of... Um, uh, Can we you know, draw water. a narwhal? You know how like dolphins, they like jump out of the water? Yeah. Can we draw a narwhal doing that? Yeah, that's we can. I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to work that into my design. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll probably be more in the background because I want to draw the narwhal tusks large enough so that you guys can see how I do it. So, watch, watch where Wait, I'm going to do. One sec. One sec. Because okay. I actually have been. I almost bought a a life size reproduction of a narwhal tusk. And I still might. Oh. Made out of plaster. So when actually humans used to hunt narwhals. And so there's like mm -hmm. from like a hundred years ago, there's still narwhal tusks like in museums and things. And you can have you can buy a reproduction of a narwhal tusk because they are everybody they're, thinks they're that the narwhal's horn like is like an actual like a unicorn horn, but it's a tusk that they used to eat and catch food. Correct. And tusk, I think, is like a tooth. So yeah. it is a, a tooth that comes out. Like, you know, the walruses, they had like these big tusks because they were. Um, just to give you guys a, a little, a little uh, help over here. Um, if you draw an S curve um, slug, you see that shape right here? So mm -hmm. it, it's like a sideways S almost. So the way I like to do the narwhal tusk is I get into the rhythm of that S curve and then I just stack them and then they get smaller and smaller and smaller until it gets to the tip. So, or you can start at the top. On a cake. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It's almost like- it's What almost about like the ice cream, swirl? Like a swirl on an ice cream cone. That's and got, what I the was problem thinking. is you gotta get the hang of it and it's like an S curve and it gets a little bit bigger. And then it's an S curve. And when I say it gets a little bit bigger, I mean almost the exact same size as the one below. So there's a, the S, you know, it goes up and then makes a bowl. And what I'm doing is I'm attempting to make each one, the center of each one be on my angled line. So if you have a straight line, then you have a straight tusk. If you have a curved line, you have a curved tusk. Yeah, how are you doing that? I know, it's the same form over and over again. So like, you're it's probably gonna take a couple times or many times to try and get the hang of it. But the shape is, the, the line is this. So I just mm -hmm. did one line here. And then when you repeat that line, Angling, yeah, and then the top of one becomes the bottom of the other. The top of one becomes the bottom of the other. Yeah, it takes a little practice for me. See, for sure. I would, you're going down, like you're going down, I would go up. I know. You know what, you I tried to go know. up, that didn't work for me, and so now I'm trying I'm just to go trying to down, go down and it seems to be a little easier. Oh no, I just got smaller. No. Well, how long are you making this? Task? I got out of the I got out of the rhythm. I feel like this is going to be the longest tusk in Norwal history. Norwal tusks are really, really long. Okay, I'm I'm starting it. Mine's not going to be as long, though. Mine's going to be adorable. And I already know. No, mine's going to be <laughs> adorable. <laughs>
Mine is looking a bit odd, but you know, it could be an odd Norwalk because just because. It's not. I'm pretty sure narwhals have like really round heads. Yeah, really they do. Out of the water. It's like they have really, 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 really round heads. Yeah. Really, really? Really, 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 really. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I think I'm just gonna make it. Like, you know the what? What type of animal is it? It like sea animal in a Finding Dory or Finding Nemo that can like hear things and see things with his mind, and it has like a really round head. A beluga whale? Yeah. <laughs> I never saw Finding Dory. Oh, it's beluga so whales cool. have really, 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 really. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, now you just it have to erase so your, your horns. If you erase your other horns, then it will look perfect. Wait till you see what I'm about to do, though. So I have, I started these other ones. So I'm just going to let them be friends. Yeah. It's it's a whole, it's a whole pod of. Yes. It yes. Is. It's a pod of narwhals. This is dedicated to my friend Arabelle. Does, do they have? So, if the tooth comes out of the middle, is that where their mouth is? Uh, I I just don't. Know. I think I think their tusk, like their horn, is on the top of their head, and then their mouth is like where a normal mouth would be. So, do do you know? They found a video of why. Do you know why narwhals have tusks like this? No. They have a video of it, and I got, I'll, I'll go on my phone and see if I can find it, if you guys don't mind me taking a two-minute break on my drawing. Um, they take their – imagine if – imagine this. You're at the – what would it be? What would there be? Not coins. Okay, so maybe – say you had some, like, little plastic action figures, and they sunk to the bottom of the pool, Okay. Okay. So then you take your hand, instead of picking them up, you can't pick them up when they're touching the floor of the pool because that's the game. So what you have to do is you have to, you go up next to them and you move your hand side to side and you create waves and then you create movement and flow in the water. And then all of those, um, you know, little plastic toys are like floating around in the water and then you can grab them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. It so does. Now, now imagine this, imagine you're a narwhal and you're hunting little teeny fish and a whole school of fish swim by, you swing your, your nose, your tusk side to side and it creates a whirlpool with the water. So the fish that was swimming this way gets confused and then swims right at your mouth and then you eat them. <laughs> the narwhal tusk creates whirlpools in the water, confuses little baby fish and then they swim right into the narwhal's mouth. Or oh my God. That sounds rather like, manipulative to me. Narwhals are literally, they're literally yeah. going to make a tornado. It's not a tornado because that's air. Yeah, well, you can think, think of uh, movement like that. Is, but, see, but see, but see, it is a tornado just underwater and they no, call it a whirlpool. There's a name for an underwater tornado. Is it a whirlpool? Yeah, there's an Edgar Allan Poe story. Of a guy who gets stuck in a. I don't know if he gets a stuck in a whirlpool. Yeah, he's on a ship and he winds up surviving. But his hair turned gray because it was so traumatic. Why did his hair turn gray? Because he was so scared on the ship as it was spinning around and around and around and around, and then he survives it. Oh my god, that that's. <laughs> So Edgar, not, Allan Poe, Edgar Allan Poe is famous for his scary stories. So that's, okay. It was a scary. It is a scary story. That is kind that's of. That's why you'll see Edgar Allan Poe come out during Halloween. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, he was actually from Baltimore. He wrote a bunch of stories in Baltimore. All right, Kate. Here you go. This is for you. Are you ready? Yes. I'm gonna draw my narwhal. Got some fins. Pink narwhal. <laughs> and then, do narwhals have like rounded tails or is the, are those manatees? <laughs> I think I just drew a manatee mm -hmm. jumping out of the ice. I think it is a manatee. Yeah. 
Good job. No walls are real. Can I? Uh, yeah, at least everybody thinks because narwhals are called unicorns of the sea that narwhals aren't real. Like somebody in my class thought narwhals weren't real, and then my teacher like showed a picture of a narwhal to the whole class, and he was like, "What? That is so fake!" And we're like, "That's awesome." May I'd like to I'd like to share something with the entire class, if I may. What's up, Stace? Well. I couldn't recall the answer to this, so I text messaged my son. We had three beta fish. I couldn't remember their names, but he could. Their names were Watery One, Watery Two, and Watery Three. And my son was quite young when we got these, and I loved their names. <laughs> That's my story. Great story, Stace. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's it's obviously a much better story to me than everyone else. But that's how did you to... forget those names? Uh, you know, because all I'm, you gotta my do is think of one name and then really go old. this one, this two, this three, boom. Y yeah. Oh my gosh, I, I can't answer that. I don't know if you guys saw what I just did, but I just added, um, I just added uh, hills. But I made hills the same way that I made the the. Oh, That's nice! Oh, it looks like the nar. Oh my god, the narwhals are like in between the airs of like the the like an iceberg and. Exactly. I thought I was going for. <laughs> so this is ice. So I can put like <laughs> I can put like a little I can put a little polar bear, on here. Polar bear. Look at that polar bear. Oh, he's so cute. Polar bears and penguins are dying right now. Why? Because of <clears throat> global warming. They are? Yeah. I hope that's not true. That's sad. Because global warming is doing bad things to the polar bears. Yeah, it's melting the glaciers where they live. True. Well, I wanted to make a happy polar bear, but it's so small. <clears throat> All right, here's my son. It could still be happy. Yes. <clears throat> That's a very big sun. And the sun's going down. And the sun's going down. Mm -hmm. On Thursday it was Earth Day. Yes, it yes. was. Yeah. I watched a wonderful show on television about Earth Day. Whoa. What else do we need? So it's little, city of animals. It needs like a little fish just popping his head out. <sighs> And the polar bear just caught its brother. Oh, is that oh. cute? All right, should we try it's to like, draw beta fish? Like, the fish coming? looks like it's dying. It's like, <gasps> oh, wait, I haven't finished my narwhal drawing. Okay, take your time. I tried to give my fish a smile. It looks like it's dead. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe he's dead. He's like, oh, it's a dead oh, fish. <laughs> the, universe, the universal symbol for dead is when you put an X for the eyes. <laughs> Please don't eat me. That's what it says. Don't eat me. Well, once he's gone, he doesn't have a choice. Well, he was probably going to die anyway. I don't eat fish. Me too. I'm against it. No, I'm just kidding. Fish make me nauseous. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, I have to erase... Piscato makes you nauseous? What does eating fish makes me makes my stomach upset? 
Yeah, pescado is fish on a plate in Spanish. Uh huh. Because pez is fish and pes <laughs> pescado, I don't know, but my whole my my class thought pescado means dead, and then it was like dead fish. Because in a in um in Mexico, Mexico, um, in Spanish, when you say like uh curious like curious um dog it would be dog curious like the way they write it, it would be dog curious is it but, gato is dog or is that cat gato is cat gato. so it would be gato curioso in spanish but when we translate it to english we would do curious cat, curious cat. what a curious cat Well, this was fun. Good suggestion, Kate. Thanks. It's a narwhal family. Da, 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 da. It's a narwhal family. Da, 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 da. We have 15 more minutes left. <clears throat> All right. It's time to start the data. Yes. We got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Um, and if you guys want to switch to color pencils, this might be a good time. Boom, boom. We were gonna look what we were. <clears throat> I got the recipe for um, bolognese, and which is basically spaghetti and meatballs. And I sketched all the ingredients earlier this week, except I didn't do the Swiss cheese, and I didn't do the pasta fork with the heart. But that would be cool. Okay, where are we? Pasta, pasta blitz. I remember one time in my old art class. That you know, looks like my beta fish. Used to like not participate in any, any oh. of the, my cousin. The blue one? Of the classes that she just started drawing random stuff when I was actually open. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to get I my mean, color. The blue pencil. one below, the, do you see the green and red one? Like the Christmas beta fish? The blue one below it looks exactly like my fish. No, not that one. The one below it. Yeah. This one or this one? No, the one the one oh, that's all blue. Nice. Yeah, there's this one, which is kind of nice, but it's too big. I can't zoom in on it well enough. And it's too Oh, this tall. one This one looks exactly like mine. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, that's what mine it's looks exactly like. like. <clears throat> um, the I'm going to do the blue. one where you can actually see. We're going to look at these two because you can actually see the... Uh, See, they're so majestic. <clears throat> they are unbelievably majestic. I mean, they're so handsome as far as fish go. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing that they've been able to um, do this. But like, so I had one and the person who gave it to me, like when we bought it, yeah. said that when you put it in its tank, you can't have like sharp rocks and things because um, the fins will get cut and then it'll get hurt. So you have to put like soft things. That's really kind. Did you do that? Did you have like non-sharp rocks in your? Yeah, we have non-sharp rocks. Okay, girls, there's a side of me that wants, um, I kind of want you to just watch what I'm gonna do um, and then we can and then we can do it together, okay? So watch watch where I'm going. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm, the, the fish actually has a relatively traditional body for a fish. Um, you know, it looks like a torpedo. Um, now he's got a really hardcore underbite and the eye is really close to the mouth, which is an underbite. So as far as the body goes, these are the things you have to worry about. So you draw the torpedo shape and then you do the underbite, you know, which is upper lip, lower lip, and it's like angled to the sky. And then the eye is really close to the mouth, okay? That's the body. Now that's like, that's, that's, you know, easy enough. So <clears throat> the way I've been teaching it, which I don't know if this is like exactly the best way to do this, but I've been going for the biggest fins to the smallest fins. So the biggest fin, and you can move the, the fins move around like seaweed. They're like very flowy. So I'm just going to try and draw a standard. I'm going to draw like basically the most simplest type of shape for each one of the fins. And there's only four sets of fins. Okay. 
So the first one is the semicircle of the tail. Okay, so now that being said, ooh, I'm gonna pop this up a little bit. Um, this is a semicircle and it, the tail, trust me, is way more complicated than the way I just drew it, but it still does this. You know, it has the, um, the they have these like structural fins that kind of radiate out. The biggest fin is the tail fin. And it looks like this. Look at the now the edges oh. could be like, uh, the edges could be like irregular and they could be jagged, but the largest shape is this semicircle. And sometimes they see up here that the tail dips down a little bit, but trust me, it is a semicircle. Now, the next largest one is the weirdest one, which I, is, is so unusual compared to other fish. And I'm gonna call it the skirt. And it's like a Hawaiian skirt in that there's the waist, which is the bottom of the fish. And then the skirt hangs down like this. And, it, and you know, it S curves, however you wanna call it. It's like, it's got kind of a curved bottom. You can imagine the skirt have be, have being rounded at the bottom, but the waist is the bottom of the fish. And then there's this fin that just like hangs down, just drag, like hangs down and is, you know, also very beautiful. I mean, it's like, it, it, it flows like fabric. So those are the two big fins and they're very different than basically any other fish. One, two, and then we'll do the third biggest one. Um, and that's gonna be the one that I think looks like an egg shape. So imagine if you started where it comes out towards the back of the tail, and then we're gonna do an egg shape in the form of an oval. Now, the way I'm drawing this, is sometimes that oval is in front of the tail. So then I'd have to erase the tail. So these come out almost like a setting sun. These radiate out. Now, sometimes the tail is in front. Sometimes the um, fin is in front. If you look at the yellow one, the tail is in front here. But if you look at say this, uh, you know, this red one, the fin is in front of the tail. So that is a little bit of a, not a confusing area, but you have to decide whether you want the, the um, egg shaped fin at the top to be in front of the tail, or if you want the tail to be in front of that. Cool. All right, let me go back. I can, and you can, and all of the fin shapes are a little bit different, but the, they never change. So all the beta fish have the tail, which is a semicircle, the skirt, which hangs along the length of the bottom, and then they have you know, one oval fin at the top. And again, the edges are jagged. So I'm just simplifying the, the fins. Now you can see the blue one right here. They have two arm fins that almost remind me of dolphins where they're, they're on the side and they, I feel like they can move them. And this is where they like, they can almost paddle. Um, and they're the ones that are really mm -hmm. towards the front right behind the gills. So I forgot to, I forgot to talk about that. The mouth, the no, the eyes and the gills. That's really what you need to do. And then, you know, they start off like, um, you know, arms and then they turn into ovals. Sometimes they're pointy, um, but there's two of them, you know, one on the left, one on the right. Let's go back to, oh, look at, you can see both of them here. Fascinating. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. That is kind That's of, really interesting. Are, those ones are really thin. Look at these ones. <clears throat> see two here too. And they like, they wiggle down. Wow, so they didn't even make it round. They, look at the how jagged these are, the, the red one. It almost feels like a knife blade. But mm -hmm. there's two of them. And so they're, there's their arms. They really function like the arms of the fish. Oh my gosh, that was so wild. Um, and then I'll give the last thing I'll give you. And um, you know, then, we'll, then I'll go and I'll work on a real one. Um, we drew... Did we ever draw pineapples in this class? No. All right. Well, I'll give you a quick hint on the pineapple. So you, the pineapple has all I'm the jagged drawing, leaves at the top. I'm drawing the scales. I know. This is this is this is to help with the scales. So pineapples, you can do um, parallel lines that circle around the pineapple that runs like this, and you do that in one direction, and then you do the same thing in the opposite direction. It's not flat, but it's kind of flat, you know? So they're angled, but they're not angled very steep. And so then you get this beautiful diamond shape. And then for a pineapple, the inside of those diamonds, they have these little spikes. And that's how you can make it look like a pineapple. 
Now the same natural geometry exists in the, <clears throat> um, in the fish, except you just gotta turn it sideways. So watch, when I do the um, scales, we're gonna angle down, put a whole bunch of parallel stripes. You know, there it's not, it's angled. It's not up and down, but it's not that steep. And then we just come across, we'll try to do the same thing, basically creating a whole bunch of X's, like crisscrosses. Mm -hmm. I'm and making the, the scales the a diamonds, deep. the diamonds that get created uh, are where, you know, look like the scales. They're kind of designed like the scales. I think our blue guy, it becomes really, you know, the, for all the parts of this oh, wow. that you can't see, um, these diamonds really do kind of show up nicely. Wow. Oh my God, mine looks so different. <clears throat> okay, so and let's go, back, let's go back to one where we can actually. Let's go. Oh, there's a goldfinch. We'll go back to our, our two original ones. Oh wow, I just I just uh, got excited, but I think I don't know what's going on with that fin, with that yellow fin. Is there a second skirt? I kind of made it one skirt, but oh. a second smaller skirt. I see what you're saying. Because, I think it is. I think that there the, the, are two. Yeah, with the red one. Kate, can you confirm this for us? A long mm -hmm. skirt and then a short skirt. And then on the on the yellow one, there's a long skirt. And then I think this is the short skirt flopping up. Hmm. Anyway, um, at the, the, they're, all the fish are so colorful. And I think that's the fun part of these fish too. So you got one tail. Two skirt, three oval fin, um, four with the arms, and then maybe five with the second skirt. <laughs> so the beta fish do have quite a few things, but very manageable. You know, if you don't confuse the uh, different parts. <clears throat> See, Lizzie, how are you doing? Welcome. Trevor. Yes, Dace. What is the the part between one and two on the underside of the fish? It's almost like a sideways triangle. I think it's part of the tail. Is it about this part? No, no, no. On the other fish, on the fish to your yeah. Yeah, that that is, that, that is the space between the tail, between the body. And between the angled fins. So that, that's like the skirt that's behind all of them. I see. Um, it's in the new Okay, I just finished the scales. Oh, that's, oh, I had you up there, Zoe, and then I didn't, and there I had you. Let's see if this works. Oh, okay. A little bit uh, closer. Well, good. Freeze it. The scales look oh my gosh, who's is that? Um, this one? Yeah. Yeah. You can't read the name. All I see is a beautiful fish. Is that Zoya? Must be Zoya. Process of elimination. It's Zoya. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now you can color Very those. Nice. In. Oh my gosh. I tried. Dude, welcome back. This is Eliana's first class back in like a long time. I'm going to make it oh. a purple beta fish. No, wait, pink. I'm going to get big again. Um, <clears throat> I guess I didn't have time to draw my very own. Stacy, did you get to draw it or did you work on the other one? And I'm just starting the beta. Uh, I thought we had a lot of time. We didn't have that much time. Lassia, can I see yours? I'm going to stop the share for a sec. Boom, boom, boom. 
Keep holding it up there. My computer's adjusting. I have to pin you. Yeah, hold pin that it. nice and still. Yeah, these, I'm really enjoying seeing these scales. Yeah. The, um, hold on, your, Lassie. Your, Lassie, your, your narwhal is amazing. That is one happy narwhal. And one very happy mermaid. Oh, and the betta fish too. Fits downstairs perfectly. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, great work. <clears throat> great page. Um, Kate, can I see it before you go? Mm, before you go, can I see your draw ring? Yeah, my draw ring. Your draw ring. Okay. Well, All right, I would really like to see it and enjoy your drawing. Well, I didn't really draw the bait fish. Yeah, it's all right. Did you draw something on. that you'd like to share? I kind of <laughs> finished the, mouth. the one that you told me that the fruit was red. Yeah, can I see the red, ah. the red fruit mouth? Yeah, it's a red fruit. Hold that up and freeze it's it. It's an apple. It's an apple for sure. Look at yep. those teeth. You should make those teeth gold. <laughs> I like the green lips. It's quite different and I enjoy it. Kate. See you, Kate. Have a great well. week. Bye. 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 That was a super fun class. Uh, Zoya and Lasia so and Stacey, I gotta go. My, uh, Wait, I'm almost back. done. All right, well, can you, yeah. Oh, there's your unicorn. You gotta do it really quick. Okay. Everybody. Yeah, I'm just fingers. following in the fins as quick as I can. Don't, there's a, um, you can, you can be quick, but try not to hurry. If you hurry, sometimes it's, it's when you push it too far and you make mistakes. So just be, but don't, don't please don't make me make you hurry. <clears throat> right, Stace? Yes. Sometimes indeed. I make Stacy rush. Almost done. I'm just making sure it's even. <coughs> yeah, done. Okay. Let's see. There's my finish. Yeah, dude. All right, I got a little bit that. to you. And um, and Lassia, if you have colored pencils, you should color. I mean, if you don't want to stop working, yeah. if you don't want to stop making art, just the class is over. You can still work on it. And those are really nice for coloring. Um, but yeah, Zoya, yeah. beautiful fish. Thank you. Yep. You've got the, and like that's what's so unique is that each each fin mm -hmm. is unique. And that's what I you kind of got to go for. You can tell they're the same. You can tell they're the same type of fin, but they're each a little different. It's like fantastic. Um, great work, everybody. Um, I hope you all have a Thank wonderful week. Thank you so week. much. And I will, um, Stacy. I'll see you later. And everybody else, I'll see you next week. Bye. Ciao. Yeah.